All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to make the specific half tone lines with dots here in Photoshop. I got to go with this artboard size, select the type tool. I'm going to type in the letter S, press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. By the way, this is the font that I used. Right click on the text, convert a smart object. Now let's go to Illustrator and we're going to create those lines. I decided to do it here because it's a little bit more complicated. I got to click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke, make sure that you're on the black here. And I'm going to select the align tool, press and hold shift, create a line like this, press and hold alt, drag it down, press and hold the letter D and create a pattern like this. Select all, press control G to group them. And I'm going to increase the stroke a little bit, select it, press control C, let's go to Photoshop, press control V, select smart object, click OK, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it up. I'm also going to stretch it back. There you go. Now let's go to the filter, blur, Select Gaussian Blur. We're going to make those lines blurry. I got to decrease it so it's still going to be visible. I got to go with somewhere around 7-ish. Click OK. And now we're going to go and select the Gaussian Blur here. Press and hold Alt and drag the Gaussian Blur on the letter S as well. And we're going to open it up. Double click on the Gaussian. Increase the Ga Gaussian Blur a little bit more. I got to go with somewhere around 30. Click OK. Let's go to the adjustments. Scroll down and select the threshold. And make sure to bring the threshold above the layers. So it looks something like this. I also going to change up the threshold like that until you're going to see this effect going on. I also going to select the lines, rename it, double click rename, and I'm going to decrease the opacity a little bit like that. Select the threshold, readjust it and so on and so forth. And now I want to change up the settings of the lines. So what we're going to do is select the lines layer and double click on the thumbnail. And if you double click on it, it is going to open up in a new tab in Illustrator. So I'm going to select the lines, press and hold shift. I'm going to rotate 45 degree angles and I'm going to go to files, click on save. Let's go back to Photoshop and check this out. It instantly updated. Now I'm also going to go back to Illustrator, select the lines and we're going to go to the strokes activate the dashed lines and I'm going to go with these values 11 and 3. And let's check out what happens. Press Ctrl S or you can go to File, Save. But I already saved it. So let's go back to Photoshop. Now we're going to try to customize it a little bit. Now I'm going to go to the letter S. I'm also going to decrease the opacity a little bit more. And check this out. Double click on the Gaussian Blur. You also can decrease it or increase it. I'm going to try it out with 40. Adjust the opacity and check that out. And pretty much this is how I make it. Thanks for watching.